I just feel like in, you know, in those first five days that it's so critical to, to get to know who your students are because knowing who your students are allows you to take their interests and connects them. If we want kids to love school, we have to involve them in the teaching process. I'm learning every day from my students, and so anytime I can get information from them, I'm learning, and then I'm circling back to that in order to make it a place where they're curious, they're excited, they know that their creativity is valued and where they want to be. One of the things uh, that I like to do right away is get us into some sort of community space, some place where kids can have conversations not only with me to share what they're passionate about, but to also be able to share with each other and ask each other questions and really just kind of set that tone for this is a community of learners and we're all going to learn together. Most of the time I felt like the teachers were very standoffish. This is my professional role and my personal life you don't need to know about. And I always sort of felt like that was not very fair when I was asking them to reveal sort of things with them over the years. So I would always put up questions, you know, what do you want to know about me? I think from day one, I'm trying to establish that this is a culture of thinking and that curiosity is celebrated. And so I continually model questions. You know, I don't know the answer to that either. Where do you think we can go to find information on that? And so I'm doing a lot of that pulling back the curtain and modeling the thinking process for my students because I want them to know from day one that it's okay to ask questions and to start setting examples for how we ask questions. I try and find a nice balance where I'm using tools that will sometimes give a voice to those who wouldn't normally speak out. Kids have longer memories than you think and um, I think that I think that th things fall apart for them if you say you're going to do something you don't follow up on it. They're like, well, whatever happened to this idea that we said we were going to do? And so really think about what you want to get done in the school year and stick to it. You know, it doesn't have to be huge goals, but, but find something that you want to sort of continue to go back to through the course of the year and make sure it's something that you can stick to and that you will stick to and just, and just keep reminding the kids. It, it can be anything. My advice to teachers, whatever grade you teach, would to be a first grade teacher those first couple of days of school. Um, get to know your students, give out the hugs, and really invest in them as individuals, which will pay in dividends across the course of the school year.